Hi, I'm M from 21 Readers. Today I'm starting a reading vlog for Such a Pretty Smile by Christy Demeester. I won this ARC on Goodreads, Advanced Readers Copy, and it's publishing on January 18th, so I'm looking forward to reading it before it gets released and letting you know my thoughts on this. I don't know anything about the plot since I like to go into my books not knowing much, so I'll get started on this one and let you know what it's about, as well as my thoughts on Such a Pretty Smile. Update time. I am nearly 25% through Such a Pretty Smile and now I can tell you what it's about. This is a horror novel and we're following Lila. Lila is a 13 year old girl in middle school and in her town outside of Atlanta there's been these attacks on preteen girls where their body parts are getting mutilated and people don't know where these attacks are coming from. People are wondering if it's similar to attacks that were happening 15 years ago which is either someone or something that was attacking young girls. So that's our main horror element happening, is what's happening with these attacks on these preteen girls. But so far in the first quarter of the book, we're following Lila as she's hanging out with her friend Macy and having friendship drama. And in her head, Lila's also freaking out about these attacks and thinking she sees something in the woods. So the ominous threat of something always lurking around outside has definitely been present this whole book so far and for good reason because of the attacks that are happening and for the fact that Lila and Macy are both preteen girls. We're also learning about Lila's mother named Caroline. We learn that Caroline is a bit of a social outcast and Caroline is an artist who makes sculptures and it's hinted at that 15 years ago when these killings were happening Caroline experienced something. These first four chapters were following Lila in 2019 and at the end of the fourth chapter that I just read, we're now switching to Caroline, Lila's mother, in 2004. Which means that I'm looking forward to finding more about what these attacks were like 15 years ago, how are they connected. I'm definitely intrigued about the commentary that we're probably going to get in terms of generational trauma and how things that affected Caroline as a young girl is affecting Lila. What is repeating itself and what cycles are being broken. I'm intrigued about how the mother-daughter dynamic is going to develop throughout the book. Already the author is making us as the reader wonder with these attacks, like is it a person, is it a creature, is this something supernatural or not that's making attacks. We also are going into the unreliable narrator territory. At the beginning of the book we could trust Lila in reality and truth about what's going on, but now we're starting to question reality and what's actually happening. Alright, I'm ready to jump back in 15 years ago and find out what happened to Caroline. Update time. I am 200 pages into the book, so two thirds into the book, and I'm still very much engaged with what's going on and invested in what's going to happen. In this middle section of the book, we're mainly following the mom, Caroline, the mom of the main character, Lila. So in Caroline's section, we're 15 years in the past, back when Caroline was in her mid 20s, starting off her career as a young artist. And in this time, there was also someone or something attacking preteen girls, just like there is now in the present day. And so while Caroline is navigating all of those things she starts having creepy visions of a creepy beast it's very similar to the creepy foreboding visions and experiences that Lila was having in her chapters in the present and so it's very much the same of the reader wondering is this really going on is this reality or is this just hallucinations delusions just things that she's envisioning or dreaming up and all the while wondering how are these visions of creepy foreboding things connected to the attacks that are happening. And throughout this middle section, we still haven't gotten any answers as to what's happening with these attacks or why they're happening. Once we got past the halfway point in the book, we started seeing more themes coming out of men not believing women, such as men not believing what Lila is experiencing and men not believing what Caroline is experiencing with these foreboding experiences of hearing things, seeing things. So I'm assuming that this conversation of men not believing women is going to continue to be explored in these final 100 pages of the book. Caroline and Lila have also begun to start sharing their experiences with each other of what they're hearing and seeing. And so I'm assuming that they're going to end up sharing more about what they're seeing and coming together 
to solve it or have some closure because so far in the first two thirds of the book, Caroline and Lila have been pretty closed off from each other. Going into these last 100 pages, I'm thinking we're going to get clarity as to why these attacks are happening and what is making the attacks. And I'm definitely curious if we're going to get some type of concrete explanation as to what's happening and if it's rooted in reality or if the explanation is going to be more symbolic and abstract. Here we go, final 100 pages of Such a Pretty Smile. Update time. I have finished Such a Pretty Smile. I'm going to be giving it four stars. I felt engaged and invested in the story the whole time, and I felt connected to both Lila and Caroline's storylines. This isn't going to be an all-time favorite book, but there are some creepy scenes that I feel like I'm going to remember for a while, as well as the social commentary that the book had about believing women and silencing women I'm going to remember for a while too. The whole time while reading, I was questioning what was real and what was imagined. This horror book is also a standout because it was written by a woman and the main characters are women. So this is definitely going to be my go-to recommendation for recommending horror written by women. I would recommend this book to people who want to be constantly questioning what's real and what's not. For people who want a constant sense of foreboding, like something bad's about to happen while they're reading and at any moment something bad could happen. For people who want a sense of closure to their books upon reading it, I would recommend it to you if you like the idea of the author taking a stance on women's issues and who make you want to think about those issues long after you've read the book. And I would recommend it to people seeking out more horror written by women about women's experiences. Such a Pretty Smile by Christy Demeester is releasing January 18th. Tell me in the comments if you plan on reading it and your thoughts on the book if you have read it. And for now, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.